So now let me do a review of this Manfrotto Be Free travel tripod. Uh, first things first, this tripod is not super light. Um, it's got a substantial weight to it. You're going to notice it whether or not it's in your pack. The best part about this though is that it's super sturdy for its size. Every engineered facet of this thing is super crisp and perfected in a way to where there's no like wobble or wiggle. At the top here you have these knobs that adjust depending on the way that you want the legs to go. And I'll kind of show you that. Open this thing up, the legs swing out. And this is where you adjust the, uh, these knobs up here. If you want the legs to go normal, spread, click all those to there. If you want the legs to go even further, you click it one more notch. You can do all these individually too if you only want one leg to go further. And then they're going to spread out like that. Which is substantial once you extend these legs. You can have a super wide. This thing can really spread out. Uh, and this top one can be adjusted too. It can be all the way down for more sturdy all the way up for a higher tripod or in the middle uh, sometimes I have it out like this whatever you want to do you can even you can extend that one all the way too and then uh, really get a sturdy stance there so when it's in its standard configuration like this it's gonna be about five feet tall and then if you add the camera that's another couple inches so what I was saying was this ball head is super strong for its size. Uh, even when the camera is on here it actually works even better because it's it's more balanced in the back here and it's not so front heavy. Swivel this thing around to any kind of angle you want. Lock it in once and it stays there. You don't have to hammer on this thing like I do with my other crappy tripod. There's no movement whatsoever inside of the ball joint which is amazing. Like if you're aiming at stars and stuff at night you really kind of you know figure out your spot and then you want it exactly there and with this tripod it stays exactly there so this thing is attached you just disconnect it like that and you're good to go put your little thing in there I forget the exact name of this mount that it syncs to this thing right here so I'll put a link in the description for these mounts here's a closer look at the top of the ball head joint you have this clasp here locks in automatically one-handed this whole thing unscrews if you want to switch it to a video head rubber handle here for when it's winter time and you don't want to grasp onto the metal this is the kind of joints that it has just clasp and you can tighten these if you ever need to or want to So probably the only downsides of this tripod are it's pretty expensive. Uh, either way, this exact tripod that I'm talking about, I'll put a link down below for the Manfrotto Be Free that I have. And then when it's time to hike home, I just connect it to my backpack like this. And it's light enough to where I'll bring it along on the hikes without caring too much about how heavy it is. See you later.